I am literally going to share a strategy with you to help you win your fantasy playoff matchup this week. This episode is brought to you by Sharps. Sharps is the social network for sports bettors. Download Sharps today for free and use the promo code Game Pick. Stick around until the end because I'm going to share a secret step-by-step playoff strategy for the week of March 13th to make sure you stay in the hunt for your fantasy championship. But first, here are the waiver wire targets you need to pay attention to for week 21 of the NBA fantasy season. From the Memphis Grizzlies, Xavier Tillman. Xavier Tillman is just rostered in 9.6% of ESPN League, so he is available widely. I talked about him last week, I believe, with John Morant out. The offense is kind of shaking up and different people are stepping up to the plate. Over the last seven days, Tillman has averaged 11.3 points, 7.7 rebounds, 2.3 assists, and get this, 2.3 steals. Make sure you grab yourself some Xavier Tillman. Next up, the rookie from the Houston Rockets, Tyree Eason. Listen, this young man has been kind of a disappointment all fantasy season, but down the stretch, when it matters the most, he is picking up steam at an alarming rate check this out over the last seven days he's averaging 29 minutes a game so they've given him the playing time 13.3 points 6.8 rebounds 1.3 assists and 1.8 steals listen folks if you are in a category league and you're trying to get that little boost to catch up or just claim the lead in steals he might be an ad listen guys down the stretch with these rookies, they want to see what they can do and put them in real game situations and scenarios to help them develop. So I see him down the stretch helping some folks win championships. And if you didn't notice, we have a brand new design in the fantasy sports shop. This is the Stat War t-shirt. Listen, this joint is fire. If you do not have one, please hit the link in the description and grab one today. Next up is kind of a forgotten man, Cam Reddish from the Portland Trailblazers. Cam Reddish played for Atlanta, he played for New York for a bit, and ended up in Portland and actually is carving out a decent role for himself. Check this out, over the last seven days, Cam Reddish is averaging 37 minutes per game, y'all. Those are like Michael Jordan minutes, not points, but minutes. 13.3 points per game, 4.8 4.8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 1.8 steals. If you have him on your wire right now and you're going into this week and you're looking for some extra uh, points and you want to maybe even get a couple of steals, I would grab Cam Reddish. From the Indiana Pacers, TJ McConnell. We've talked about this gentleman off and on all season. He's literally been on the merry-go-round of the waiver wire, but you're in the playoffs now, and if you need assists, he is the guy. Over the last seven days, he's averaged 21.3 minutes per game, 11.3 points, 3.7 rebounds, 5.3 assists, and 1.7 steals. Listen, TJ McConnell, it's not a sexy name, but down the stretch, he will continue to get minutes, and just pay attention, though. He was a little banged up last week, so make sure you check his injury reports to make sure they're clean otherwise I would fire him up another guy who's been moving around the league Devonte Graham he started out in Charlotte ended up in New Orleans and really didn't have much of a role in New Orleans I guess the backcourt was flooded with a lot of different players but now he's getting some run in San Antonio listen over the last seven days 26.5 minutes per game 21 points per game so if you're in a points league or you're trying to dominate in a points category listen Rebounds, two per game. Assists, four per game. He doesn't really deliver anything in terms of defensive stats, but that's not why you're grabbing Devontae Graham. You're grabbing him for two reasons, points and three-pointers. By the way, I'm Robin Marks from Game Pick Fantasy Basketball. You can connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Game Pick Podcast. If you love fantasy sports, please consider subscribing. Give this episode a like and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these fantasy gems. We release new episodes every single week. If you need help with your team, drop a comment with your question. Very important. If you have follow-up questions or more than one question, do not reply to your comment on the same thread. Just start a brand new comment thread so I don't miss your question. I will answer every single comment for this episode.
Next up, we wanna go into our world famous Discord Q&A. To join our free private Discord of over 1,300 fantasy basketball fanatics, all you have to do is hit the link in the description of this episode. I'm gonna read these joints right off my phone this week. This one is from Antech. He says, the question everyone will want to hear is Kevin Durant a drop at this stage if you got three weeks remaining? Listen, I, this one hits home for me, right? I have Kevin Durant in a couple of leagues. I had Kevin Durant in the lock on Fantasy Bowl, got eliminated in the first round. Kevin Durant was banged up. So I'm like feeling the Kevin Durant pains right now. So this one really hits home for me. So this is what I would say. And this is generally not just for Kevin Durant. When you have superstars who are injured and you're in your playoffs and it seems as if they won't be coming back in time to contribute to your team, specifically for redraft leagues, right? So if you're in a dynasty league, that's a whole nother conversation. If you're in a keeper league, totally different convo. But when it comes to redraft leagues, you got to cut and run, guys. This is the time to make tough decisions. So as much as it pains me to say, if you don't have an available IR spot or IL spot that you're holding to see if there's some glimmer of hope, you got to drop Kevin Durant. The next one is from Zoom1N. I just dropped KD, sadly, but is Zion a drop right now also or stash because playoffs start this upcoming Monday for me? And I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. Very similar to the Kevin Durant question. You really got to monitor his injury report, right? But if there's a glimmer of, of hope, a little ray of sunshine that Zion might come back, then you got to hold on to him if you have a IR spot available. Now, if you don't have an IR spot available and you want to gamble, roll your dice to see if Zion will come back in time for your playoffs, what you're going to have to do is just get creative. Make sure you have enough streaming spots where you can actually sustain having a, a, a roster spot that doesn't make any contribution. So that's really what you want to do. Me personally, I, I would actually start the week out especially because there's a lot of opportunities to stream in week 21 if at any point it gets too competitive or you get down then you got to cut and honestly th the simple answer is you got to make tough decisions at this time in order to win those championships so drop if you have to the next question is from aussie boomers he wants to know should we make it a weekly thing to show schedules of teams i think most people would like to see that you know what i got you so here we are at hashtag basketball's fantasy basketball playoff schedule grid we're looking at week 21 right here let's go through these teams atlanta brooklyn three games golden state houston memphis four games OKC, the Sixers, three games. Kings, four games. Wizards, three games. Celtics, four games. Charlotte Hornets, two games. Pay attention. Cleveland, three games. Dallas, three games. Denver, Detroit, four. Indiana Pacers, three. Lakers, Heat, Bucks, four. Pels, three. Magic, four. Blazers, three. Spurs, Raptors, four and four. Bulls, three. Timberwolves, four games. New York Knicks are playing two games this week, people. Be aware. Suns, four games. They have a back-to-back, -back, I believe, too. Jazz, two games, people. And the Clippers, three games. So we got a guest in the studio today. My daughter just walked on in. Uh, before we move any further, I want to talk to you guys about our newest sponsor, Sharps. Sharps is a social network for sports bettors. It connects to all major sports books, DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM, the works and it also connects to daily fantasy platforms like underdog fantasy sharps allows you to see what your friends are actually betting and interact with the bets the folks at sharps have created a community that offers true transparency download sharps today for free and use the promo code game pick and don't forget follow my plays on sharps the social network for sports bettors as promised here is my secret strategy for the week of march 13th in the fantasy basketball playoffs. Number one, same rule as last week. I have to start with this because some people don't do it. Make sure you have two to three streaming slots available and be aware of how many acquisitions you actually have for your league. Most leagues have four, but your league might have up to seven or eight. So please go check your league settings to make sure you know. And, and for my experienced players out there, you already know you need to squeeze the value out of each 
streaming slot. Number two, add a Milwaukee Bucks player early in the week. They played three games in four days early on in the week. Number three, add a Suns player early in the week. They also played three games in four days. Add players from the Detroit Pistons early in the week. They also play three games in four days. And keep in mind, if you have four streaming spots, I wouldn't use all of my streaming spots on the first day. I would pick one player from one of these teams just for clarity. Next up for number five, I would add a Sacramento player early in the week. They also play three games in four days. Number six, add a Toronto Raptor player because they played three games in four days later in the week between Thursday and Sunday. Number seven, add a Denver player later in the week. They also play three games in four days Thursday through Sunday. Number eight, add an Orlando Magic player later in the week. They play three games in four days Thursday through Sunday. Number nine, drop your Utah Jazz players. I'm not talking about dropping Laurie Marketing, but people like Taylor Horton Tucker, guys like that, you can drop them after Monday, and here's why. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they are off four games off. You cannot have an empty, non-productive slot on your roster that long during the playoffs. So I would drop them. Number 10, the Knicks are off three days in a row. The Hornets play one game in five nights, Monday through Friday. They have a total of two games. Stay away from Knicks and stay away from Hornets for streaming. Again, if you need help with your fantasy squad, drop your questions in the comment section below. And again, very important, if you have a follow-up question, do not reply to the comment. Just start a new comment thread. I don't want to miss your question. I promise I will answer every single comment for this episode. If you want to learn our proven strategy for executing fantasy sports trades, please check out the next episode that pops up on your screen. And don't forget, play the waivers, set your lineups, and follow Game Pick, you freaking fantasy nerds.